Welcome back to my Keep Up channel. Post Office hero Alan Bates honored with knighthood after exposing Horizon IT scandal alongside cyclist Mark Cavendish and Daily Mail writer Neil Ferguson in King Charles's birthday honors. Alan Bates was awarded a knighthood in the King's birthday honors on Friday after his landmark campaign for justice for hundreds of wrongly convicted postmasters. The former sub-postmaster was honored alongside former Prime Minister Gordon Brown, artist Tracy Emin and actress Imelda Staunton, and hundreds of community heroes. The list celebrated charity fundraisers and activists alongside celebrities and sports stars, including knighthoods for cyclist Mark Cavendish and male writer Neil Ferguson, and a damehood for fashion designer Anya Hindmarch. The highest award went to Mr. Brown, who said he was slightly embarrassed to be made a companion of honor and would prefer to recognize unsung, local heroes. Perhaps the most popular award was the knighthood for Mr. Bates, whose legal battle against the post office was dramatized by ITV earlier this year. Sir Allen, who had previously rejected an OBE while post office boss Paula Venel still retained a CBE, said he was honored by the knighthood. He actually learned about it while Ms. Venels gave evidence to the public inquiry into the scandal, in which hundreds of postmasters were wrongly convicted of fraud while the post office covered up problems with the real culprit, its new IT system. She has been formally stripped of her CBE following the Horizon IT scandal, which has been called the biggest miscarriage of justice in UK history. Sir Allen insisted his knighthood for services to justice was on behalf of the hundreds of sub-postmasters affected by the scandal and the horrendous things that have happened. He laughed off claims he was a hero, but said he had received hundreds of messages of support, adding, A lot of people do seem to think I should receive some sort of recognition for the work that I've done for them or on their behalf. In the sporting world, cyclist Mr. Cavendish was given a knighthood and there were CBEs for fellow athlete Chris Boardman and former Liverpool footballer and male columnist Graham Sonis. Dame Jenny Abramsky, the first female editor of Radio 4's Today program, was appointed a Dame Grand Cross and retired High Court Judge Lord Etherton was appointed a Knight Grand Cross. There were also damehoods for London Stock Exchange CEO Julia Hoggett. Honor Killings campaigner Jasminder Sanghera and knighthoods for cancer drug researcher Professor Tony Kuzarides and HSBC Chairman Mark Tucker. Political satirist Armando Yanucci, actor Alex Jennings, novelist Monica Ali, and broadcaster Alan Yentob each received CBEs. Broadcaster Tanya Breyer, BBC journalist Rory Sellen Jones, poet and children's laureate Joseph Qualo, and Roxy Music guitarist Phil Manzanera were given OBEs. And there were MBEs for Duran Duran frontman Simon Le Bon, Countdown lexicographer Susie Dent, Coronation Street actress Shabna Galati, Boney M singer Liz Mitchell, Strictly stars Amy Dowden and Rose Ailing Ellis, and M People singer Heather Small. Hundreds of volunteers and community heroes were honored for their outstanding work, including Forces veteran double amputee who climbed Everest and three fathers who raised more than £1.4 million for charity after losing their daughters to suicide. Gurkha ex-soldier Hari Buddha Magar became the first double above-the-knee amputee to reach the summit of Mount Everest last year, 13 years after an explosion while serving in Afghanistan. While Andy Airy, Mike Palmer and Tim Owen started three dads walking in memory of their daughters, Sophie, 29, 17-year-old Beth and Emily, 19. Charity fundraiser Harold Jones, 100, was the oldest recipient and there were eight awards for volunteers with the Royal National Lifeboat Institution as it celebrates its 200th anniversary. Veterans charities were also honored, including a CBE for the former Director General of Royal British Legion, Charles Byrne. Patrick and Karen McCourt, who have fostered 331 children, were awarded British Empire medals. Source, dailymail.co.uk Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.